where am I? The Land of Oz at Beach Mountain, North Carolina. And I, I recognize this, but what is this? The Yellow Brick Road. The real Yellow Brick Road. The actual Yellow Brick Road. That's 44,000 glazed yellow bricks making up the winding road at the Land of Oz, a privately owned property high in the Blue Ridge Mountains, where Janet Greer is the caretaker and my tour guide. Why does this exist here? They had the ski industry beginning in the mid to late 60s. They were looking for summer tourism, so Charlotte Designer Jack Pentez was hired. He came up through a logging trail. He saw the gnarled trees, the emerald green grass, and was instantly transported to his favorite childhood book, The Wizard of Oz. I'll get you, my pretty. The idea was to build a theme park based on the popular book and film. The destination opened to the public in 1970 to much fanfare. They boast that 20,000 people were here on opening day with Debbie Reynolds and her daughter, Carrie Fisher. They boast that they sold over 400,000 tickets. But that popularity in this remote mountaintop was short-lived due to the gas crisis in the 1970s. Attendance dropped, and the Land of Oz closed its doors 10 years later. Then, in 2015, the park went viral when a social media post claimed the Land of Oz was abandoned. This place, according to the viral post, is abandoned. It is not abandoned. I have plenty of signage. I have barriers. Some still snuck in thanks to an internet fact called Urbex, short for Urban Exploration. They broke into the buildings. They were stealing the bricks. And that's what a lot of people who tell me that break in, well, I saw it was abandoned. And I explained, if you go online and you look us up, you will find our website, our phone number, and our social media accounts to get a hold of us and visit it appropriately. You found the thieves because you had a brain. I haven't got a brain. <laughs> you had a heart. No heart. And, and you the had the courage. courage to find them. Put them up. Put them up. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> the park opens a few times a year to fans everything from Dorothy's farmhouse to the Emerald City. Here we are in Dorothy Gale's room. We have the luggage ready for her to run away and the famous window that bumps her head. This is the aftermath? It is. We must have been up inside a twister. <laughs> so this is, this is really crooked. It's built on a double axis. And so it's as if it's landed after being picked up. Oh, yes. Toto? feeling we're not in Kansas anymore. It's a timeless classic, and we look to that story, and we know that there's hope in the end, that we'll find what we need, and that we've had what we needed all along. But Janice says everyone who comes clicks their heels for that all-important social media photo. We have people who attended in the 70s and want to share it with their families now. We have people who have never been here and have read about the beautiful Yellow Brick Road and they just want to live that childhood fantasy of skipping on the Yellow Brick Road. That's a good idea. Shall we live that fantasy? Shall we? Dorothy, how do we start in the Emerald City? It's always best to start at the beginning and follow the Yellow Brick Road. Follow, follow the, the Yellow, Yellow Brick, Brick Road. Road. We're, We're off, off to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Oz. Here's the wizard of Oz.